Welcome to Access Africa, a brand new CNBC show that takes a closer look at the true story of the continent. This episode, we're in the capital of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. It was the 12th fastest growing economy in the world in 2012. And for the past decade, it has seen an average annual growth rate of 10.9%. Recently, it was given its first ever sovereign debt credit rating by Moody's, Fitch and S&P. So does this mean that Ethiopia is open for business? Questions have been raised about the country's private sector, agricultural productivity, low savings rates and weak trade. But analysts still expect growth to continue for now. So as the African lion powers ahead, construction is booming in Addis Ababa. But how much of the growth is actually trickling down to the population? Oxford University ranks Ethiopia as the second poorest country in the world, just ahead of Niger, something the prime minister with his growth and transformation plan wants to change. Prime Minister Hali Mariam Dessalen, thank you very much for joining us on Access Africa. It's my pleasure and welcome to Ethiopia. This is the second most populous country in Africa, but it's also one of the world's poorest. You've already have the number of people living under the poverty line in just under 20 years. But there's still some work to do. You have a target to reduce that to 22.2% by 2015. Is that achievable? And how do you plan to do it? I think it's achievable, first of all, our economy is mainly based on agriculture and also 80% uh, of our people reside in rural areas where agriculture is their basic uh, you know, needs and their basic economic outlay. So in that sense, if you increase productivity and production in agriculture and modernize their, uh, the rural and agricultural production, then I think it's obviously possible to reach this uh, stage. I've had a bit of a chance to walk around Addis Ababa and also speak to some of the people here. Do you think that the newly generated wealth has trickled down fast enough to the average citizen? I think if you want to see uh, this inclusiveness of the growth, uh, you have to see the figure. You know, the economists call it Gini coefficient. So Ethiopia Gini coefficient is something below 0 0.3, which is the most inclusive uh, kind of uh, grows. So, so you're, you're happy with how fast the wealth has trickled down? Of course, at this economic stage, it is uh, absolutely we can say that it is, uh, it is inclusive. 